from this to this. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today, I hope you had a wonderful Christmas like I did, this friends and family time. Got this uh, device today, it's a uh, Lenovo CTX636F. And as you can see, what's wrong with it is a uh, the screen's shattered. I mean, it's absolutely hammered. Yeah, completely battered, that is. Um, so we'll go ahead and remove uh, the uh, the frame and then let's see what's what inside. Haven't done this, one, done this before, so uh, we'll do this together, shall we? So I've got myself a, a little tool just to prise it out. As you've noticed, I've got some black tape on there purely because this particular one is really sharp and it was digging into uh, my palm and uh, eventually uh, I was bleeding. So I put some tape over it just to give me a bit of a, a bit of a cushion there. So uh, I'm just going to, what I'm going to try and do is just going to try and get into the side here and just going to hold, see if this uh, does work. Okay, and that looks good. And if we just go around, uh, just be careful there's nothing that, uh, no volume buttons or stuff like that that you could actually damage on the way around or any flexes that could be possibly be hidden behind. Um, so just slowly, slowly see what, if it didn't work, then I would have had to heat up the glass and I would have removed uh, the glass from the frame. But uh, this particular one has, so uh, we're lucky with this. So just take your time, there is no rush. Patience is key when working with, I always say that in most of my videos, be very patient when working with these devices because one wrong move and either you've got a, a device that you probably can't use again um, <clears throat> or you've got to do more repair work now you've got the you've got the power uh, socket there the uh, charging unit just behind there so just gonna slowly prise out and again let's see oops I'm throwing it away Let's just have a look. Right, okay, so we've got the flex there. So as you can see, if you know, if I was doing this and I was going a bit rough with it and I went too far in, I could have sliced the flex. Uh, so I'm just gonna see if I can get this, uh, this bit out here. This is a bit of a, bit of a stubborn area here. I'm probably using the, ah, there you go. That's popped off now. So let's have a look inside. To be fair, it's quite, Easy to come off. Let's have a look what's going on in here. Okay, so we've got the, the LCD flex, which is connected to the board. Uh, we've got the uh, the battery. So what I think the best thing to do, the safest thing to do really, is take the battery off. And these are just standard screws, not the uh, the ones Apple use, which make our life a misery when working on these devices sometimes. Okay, so take off. Uh, there's another piece there. I can't see anything else. That should just come off. What we're going to do now is remove the battery, uh, which is this connector here, not this one here. Uh, you may get confused. So I'm just going to use my spudger tool just to pop that off. And that's fine. We'll press the power button for a few seconds uh, just to remove any power from the board. So just draining all the all the power away. Um, use budget tool again, just to remove the, the flex, just there. Okay, and just keep the screen, the, the board to one side. Uh, we're going to remove uh, the, the tape that's just on there. Just keep it to one side. And we'll use that on the, on the new screen. Just remove the tape as well. We can use that again. Um, and it, just, it just covers up the caps uh, that are on the, on the connector there. Uh, lift off, open the door, see who's home, Get that off. And, <coughs> sorry, I've got the new screen here. And make sure the flex is okay. My gloves are ripped. Uh, they're not very good ones, these ones. Make sure it goes in proper and close the door. 
and just cover the connector with the tape like so again do the same thing uh, on the other side uh, the laptop what we can do now is connect the MCD connector to the board Make sure it clips in nicely press in the the connector for the battery and hit the power button there you go that's already coming on so job done i don't want to show you what uh, the names are on the screen because they are confidential obviously um, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put on the put back on the, the cover for the battery and go back to our tray which has all the screws in it's important to have a magnetized well that's not important but it's it makes the job a lot easier i have a magnetized tip I haven't screwed it in all the way. Oh, it's getting both screws. And then just do to the side. And get the other side, the other cover as well for the flex. Actually, it's not a not a bad job to be fair. I thought it'd be more involved. I'd rather do these all day long rather than an iPad, to be honest. And there you go, that's what I mean by magnets. So there's a magnet there, which is probably to be the back cover or something, or the case or whatever. Okay, so um, I hope you like the video. I mean, we're almost at the end of it now. And um, I'd appreciate a like, uh, a subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any other future videos. I'm, you know, I'm gonna sort of vary the channel slightly. We're not, not just gonna do laptops and and uh, tablets and game consoles whatever i get my hands on whatever's got a circuit in it we'll have a go at repairing it so i'm just going to make sure that the uh make sure the touch uh, all works as well before you'll put it back together uh, which i've done off screen uh, so now i'm just going to line everything up and push everything in place careful that you hold the frame at the same time as you do the glass okay make sure you get a, a good fit all the way around it's a bit hard there actually um, it could actually break so there's something that's not lining up behind here uh, okay behind where the, where the camera is something is not lining up so i'm not very happy with that i'll take it out again and see what the situation is is there anything different with this screen compared to the other one again be careful you don't want to break the new screen something not right behind it they look exactly the same to be honest is there an addition there's something else that's in this frame that wasn't in the the uh, the old the broken one let's have a look so here's the no they look exactly I'm putting it side by side and I'm comparing the two like so. They look exactly the same, apart from a cracked lens in the old one, obviously. But other than that, no, they look absolutely perfect. So I have no idea. I'm gonna try and put in the top end of this. Ah, so yes, I've, I've put in the camera area in first and that has done the job. Uh, I'm just gonna go around now and uh, Clip it all in, all the way around. Okay. 
that looks great. I'm just going to check it off screen. Um, you know, the good thing to do is just go around testing um, the the digitizer, make sure all the keys are working, all the buttons that you're pressing, and you know, I mean, I'd recommend doing this before putting it all back together. But uh, I've done that. I don't want to see show you the name of the person or the people. Uh, but yeah, that's that's all done. Thank you for watching and have a great day.